hey guys welcome back to tech and tech in this video we are going to see the unboxing and the overview of this uh, logitech uh, k230 wireless keyboard so it is one of the best wireless keyboard in this price segment i have given the product link in the description so it is uh, priced around uh, 800 to 900 price segment and it will be available through amazon india so it is a compact keyboard so, and it also comes with the wireless support given with the two aaa batteries also so it is one of the best uh, wireless keyboard to use for your windows operating system from the windows 7 to the windows 11 operating system and also it can be usable through the google chrome os also so now after opening now here is a user manual so for this uh, wireless keyboard and after that so this is a battery covering lids so i'll uh, show you afterwards here is a usb uh, receiver so this receiver is the most important thing to connect in your uh, pc and it supports a 2.5 gigahertz and it's having a up to 10 meter of a connection range and afterwards now here is a logitech uh, keyboard so it is a most compact keyboard uh, in this price segment and it also looks good in design so as you seen yes at the sides here is a battery this is a battery covering lid we also having a two uh, other colors of lid so that is actually given in the box itself you can use this lid also so it is uh, overall unique in terms of design you can just remove this lid by just uh, swiping like this and then the lid will be open and the two AAA batteries will be already pre-installed in this keyboard itself so these two AAA batteries will actually give us uh, two months as per the brand claiming but based on the usage there will be a difference and so here is the two different uh, lids you can use pink in case if you are a pinky lover so you can just insert like this and that's it so now it's a pink keyboard so as well as it is having a very compact in uh, size and all the keys are actually installed in nearby near so, well now let's check how it works in uh, system and uh, before that and i also need to tell one more thing on the right side here is an empty slot so it is for the usb receiver and in sometimes if you are not using the keyboard means you can uh, remove the usb receiver and you can safely insert into this uh, empty slot that means it's a dummy slot so this slot is a very good thing so by using this slot you can just insert the usb receiver here it can protect from lost well now let's look on the closer look of this uh, keyboard it is actually a compact in design and after the look we are going to connect this keyboard with the windows 11 pc well now the connection is actually simple so to connect you have to just insert the usb receiver in your laptop or your desktop pc and after that it will be actually work seamlessly so there is no installation of any software like that so you have to just need to insert the usb receiver in your desktop or laptop and after that so now the keyboard is actually working so uh, in the keyboards or the rear side so here is a switch is actually given so it is a turning on and off switch so once you are actually sliding out like this so the keyboard will be actually turned off so after that if you are pressing also the keyboard will never works well now these are all the some of the good things now let's have a look on the side by side comparison with the zebronics keyboard and this is a logitech keyboard so actually as as you seen here so as i already said it's a compact keyboard as you seen here so the, this is the zebronics keyboard having a, a lengthy keyboard it's a compact in size and also the width is also too compact and checking on the key keypad functions well on pressing the windows key it actually instantly works and all the keys actually instantly works and it is not a mechanical keyboard it's a membrane type keyboard only it's not a having a the keys not having a functions of your mechanical keys it's a membrane type keys only but also it is actually looks good in case if you're actually using a previous keyboard with a lengthy keyboard like this means so that will be so you'll make it you need to make some practice because it's a compact in size and also i have feel that so generally the uh, control keys always at the edges but here the control key is actually available here and at the sides here is a battery led but while i'm actually typing uh, sometimes i often uh, hitting in the battery lid because uh, i thought that control key is at the bottom edge but the control key is actually designed in this logitech keyboard like this so i can able to adapt this in the further days on the daily practical usage so but it's not a uh, any issues from the brand side it's a design so it's actually takes some time to adopt with this keyboard but overall it's a compact in size and it's a looks good in terms of design 
and overall features well now that's all about this video guys now what are your guys thoughts on this uh, logitech uh, keyboard and in case if you are already using this keyboard let me know what your experience in the comment section below and that's all about this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys Oh, my God.